last month I had an assignment for my theater final um, and it was pretty open-ended so I decided to do a short piece, short film based on Henrik Ibsen's A Doll's House um, and then I realized that, that I have nothing Victorian era-ish in my wardrobe which is kind of a problem because a Doll's House is quintessentially Victorian, and I couldn't get away with not being Victorian-esque. Um, so instead of choosing an easier um, subject matter to film, I decided to make myself a Victorian gown out of two pairs of bedsheets. I did very little research. I literally Google imaged 1840s clothing and chose the first green fashion plate I saw because my bedsheets were green. I based it all off of a um, fashion plate from the 1840s before realizing, oh yeah, Doll's House is 1870s, and so I changed the bodice a little bit more so it would be more 1870s. Here is my rough plan outline that I made before I started sewing with the drawing I did of what I want to look like next to the fashion plate from 1843 and here you can see the design change I made to the fashion plate to make it more 1870s. I filmed some of the process of making it. Um, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because I did not know what I was doing and I didn't film all of it. Um, I hope you enjoy none of this is his historically accurate. Bye! I started by making a petticoat out of the dark green bed sheet and I made the petticoat by gathering all of the fabric and attaching it to a waistband. and it will go underneath the shorter dress. Then I took some measurements for where I wanted the bodice to um, hit on my shoulders. I used a shirt pattern just kind of as a base for the bodice of the dress. So I sewed the shirt and then I measured um, how big I wanted the front gathered panel to be on the bodice. Said gathered panel was just a um, triangle that I cut out of the fabric and then gathered. put it into the bodice. I then cut off the arms of the bodice and measured for a sleeveless or off the shoulder band on the top. I then attached the band to the rest of the bodice. a selfie I took at this point. I chopped the bodice down the back and not shown but I attached buttons to the back to close the whole dress. And here's where I stopped filming. So here is the finished dress. I attached a waistband to the bodice and then gathered the rest of the fabric to the bottom for the skirt. I used ribbons to kind of gather all of the skirt and make kind of like the swoopy shape from the um, 
fashion plate, which also kind of brings out more of the 1870s silhouette. As for my hair, I took inspiration from fashion plates of the era and Duchess of Kent from the TV show Victoria. I ended up with ringlets with the front of my hair and putting the rest of my hair in a bun on the top of my head. And here are some clips from my short film with the dress in it. <laughs> 